Solid state batteries are said to be the battery chemistry of the future. It's currently the industry perception that China doesn't lead on solid state batteries. But based on the news I've seen over the past 48 hours, that may be incorrect. Hello, my friends, and welcome to The Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. Welcome to the channel. You new subscribers, great to have you. Welcome back, everyone else. Let's get straight to it. China, well, it's perceived that China isn't leading when it comes to solid state batteries. And well, even I thought that was the case until recently when Chinese car companies started releasing vehicles this year with solid state batteries. Sure, they're semi-solid state, but it's a stepping stone on the way to proper high energy density solid state batteries. And based on this news I'm just hearing now, well, that may change very, very soon. Now, as you know, currently China produces more batteries than any other country in the world. In fact, they produce more than 50% of the world's batteries right now that go into cars, that is, and in fact, that go into energy storage as well. I think that lead might even increase, even though, you know, Europe is scaling up battery production, America is scaling up battery production, Japan is doing a little bit of battery production as well for Tesla in particular. We've got that news that they're going to be producing 4680 battery cells. But still, have a listen to what happened in the last three days in China. Number one, Chinese solid state battery startup King Tao's 10 gigawatt hour project begins construction. Doesn't sound all that important, does it? However, solid state battery technology is seen as a solution to break the current energy density bottleneck of power batteries New developments about it are extremely important to the industry. Chinese startup Qingtao Energy Development broke ground on a solid state lithium battery project in Kunshan City, eastern Yangshu province on February the 26th, according to a press release from the local government. The project has a total investment of 800 million US dollars and with a design capacity of 10 gigawatt hours of solid state batteries per year. Now, the Press release doesn't say when the factory is going to be finished, but let's be honest, we all know it's going to be finished way quicker than what it would be if it was built in Australia, in Canada, in America, in Europe, in anywhere else other than in China. They are insanely fast. The second part of this news, We Lion, Neo's rumored solid state battery supplier, has begun construction of a 100 gigawatt hour project. That's enough for about probably 2 million EVs. Now, Beijing's We Lion New Energy Technology, rumored to be NEO's solid state battery supplier, recently saw the start of construction on one of its large projects. On February the 25th, We Lion broke ground on a 100 gigawatt hour solid state lithium battery project in Zibo, eastern China's Shandong province, which has the highest safety factor and highest energy density in China. Apparently these batteries are truly next level. And they're not talking about, you know, we're planning on producing these in 2024, in 2025, in 2028, uh, whoever you are. And then, you know, as time goes on, those years actually roll out and increase. They're actually literally building the factory to actually produce 100 gigawatt hours of solid state batteries right now. Now, apparently this factory will cover 366,666 square meters of land. The project's first phase design capacity is 20 gigawatt hours of hybrid solid liquid electrolyte batteries and all solid state batteries per year and will go into production this year. In other words, they've just started production this year and they're going to be producing batteries this year. That's how fast things happen in China. Okay, news number three. Battery maker Sun Woda plans to build a new 30 gigawatt hour facility. I mean, this was released all within 48 hours of each other, all these three articles. Chinese power battery maker Sun Woda plans to invest 12 billion yen or 1.9 billion US dollars to build a 30 gigawatt hour battery production facility in southern Guangdong province in China. The Shenzhen listed company said in an announcement that one of its subsidiaries plans to sign an investment agreement with Zhuhai city government to move forward on the project for the development, design, production and sales of cells, battery modules and battery systems. So they're not just making the cells there, they're making the packs and the systems as well. Now, reportedly, this facility will be 533,000 square meters in size in terms of the land, and they'll have construction facilities, including plants, warehouses, living quarters, and R&D and testing centers. If you haven't heard of Sun Word before, they started as a maker of cell phone batteries, and they were listed in the A-share market 
in 2011 as a supplier to Apple. In 2008, Sun Motor began manufacturing automotive power batteries and battery management systems and started mass production of battery cells back in 2018. The company actually is a supplier to Xpeng's G3 electric vehicle, which went on sale in 2018. Now, Sun Motor's market share in China in 2021 was 1.3%, ranking 10th. Now, only 24 hours before that news, we saw news of BYD and FAW's battery project, which is aimed to meet demand for 1 million electric vehicles. Reportedly, this facility will cost 2.14 billion US dollars and have a capacity of around 50 gigawatt hours. Now, BYD, they're not only China's largest manufacturer of new energy vehicles, they're also one of the largest suppliers of batteries worldwide. The company's position is expected to strengthen significantly further as more battery projects are built. If you didn't already know, BYD supplies batteries for Toyota's electric cars, and it's going to build electric cars for Toyota and then put the badges on them as well. They also supply batteries to Ford and, of course, this year as well to Tesla. Now, on February the 26th, BYD's battery making arm FinDream's battery officially broke ground on a joint venture battery project with FAW, an automotive car manufacturer in China. And this project will sit on land of a size of 800,000 square meters. That's massive. And has a total capacity of around 50 gigawatt hours. In addition to that news, about 10 days before that, CATL announced that they'd broken ground on a $440 million plant near Tesla Giga Shanghai. They didn't disclose the number of gigawatt hours coming from that factory, but previous documents suggest it's going to provide Tesla with 70 gigawatt hours of lithium iron phosphate battery cells. Now, the construction of Chinese battery giant and the world's largest battery manufacturer, CATL's facility near Tesla's Giga Shanghai, officially began on the 19th of February. It's located literally three kilometers down the road from Tesla's Giga factory in Shanghai and will have a total floor area of 350,000 square meters. That's a big factory. Now, the project will actually build a green and efficient smart factory in Linyang, new area based on CATL's latest manufacturing technology and experience in building global lighthouse factories to optimize the layout of the new energy industry, the release said. CATL is basically trying to reduce the cost of batteries by improving its efficiency at this new factory. It's trying to really focus on how it can improve efficiency in order to get these batteries out at a cheaper price for Tesla. So that's four different big battery projects, which are at an enormous scale, all announced within a very short period of time. Three of them were announced within about 60 hours of each other. And the previous one, the CATL one, was announced that it started production only about 11 days ago. So as you can see, really, is the West catching up? I don't think so. I mean, considering two of these factories are building solid state batteries, not in two years, not in five years, but literally this year. And one of them is going to produce 100 gigawatt hours per year of solid state batteries. you got to say, wow, scary, fast time, scary, incredible things are happening right now. I'm not saying that this news is necessarily good. It's on the one hand, it is good in the sense that, you know, the world needs batteries. We need batteries for electric cars. They are the solution to the world's challenges right now. Batteries, whether they're for cars, whether they're for energy storage, whatever they're for, combined batteries and solar and wind generation and hydro. And we really have everything we need in terms of all the energy the world needs. That's awesome. But then the other side of it is, is it a good thing that China is, you know, taking such a huge share and potentially having a monopoly on this market? I'm not so sure that's a good thing. But hey, let's focus on the positive. This will mean that more people will be driving electric cars sooner. So that's the good news. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. Have a great day. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.